Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy. I want to do a quick video for you on how to install a helicoil or thread insert type of repair tool. I'm working on my T5 transmission and there were some fasteners that were stripped out. This one in particular, I'm going to go through the process of how to repair it. Step one, you need to determine what size fastener you have that goes into the hole. 5.8 might as well be uh, six millimeters which I, I know this fastener to be this size because there is no 5.79 that I'm aware of. The next thing you're gonna need to determine is the thread pitch. Uh, and here in my hand, I have a thread pitch gauge. It came with my tap and die set. As you can see, it's got different sized pitches there. And the way you use this gauge is you select one that you think is close. That's 1.5. 1.25 is also a little wide. There's one, okay, and you look for one that basically fits right down inside the threads real nice like this one does. You can see that just mates up real nice. So this is a six millimeter by one, and that's important because you're going to need to know the correct size in order for this to work. So you need a thread gauge and you need some way of measuring the fastener. I just thought of another possible way that you could size up fasteners so you can sometimes Slip these through wrenches and look for the fit to see how well it fits. Well, this will get you pretty close. Uh, but a lot of times they have, like at hardware stores and things, they'll have like gauges that you can insert things into. And then I have another one here um, that I know that looks to me like it's about an eight millimeter. So there, it, it fits snug. I mean, you don't want something like really loose fitting. I mean, it's pretty obvious that that's not the right size, but you may be able to use like a set of wrenches or possibly sockets that could help you size things up uh, when you're trying to figure out the size of a fastener. Once you have that, you need to get a helicoil kit, which I have here. This is what came in the kit. A bunch of the inserts, a tap, and the installation tool. This one is six by one, which is what, what we just measured. It also shows you what drill bit size to get. In this case, it's quarter inch, because you're gonna need to drill uh, the hole that you're gonna put the insert into out large enough to accept the new thread insert. Quarter inch drill bit. I got some gears and stuff down inside here that I don't wanna get metal shavings onto, so I'm gonna be drilling sort of off to the side like this, but you wanna get down into the hole as, as straight as possible. Now I'm gonna clean out the hole, a little bit of compressed air to get all those little shavings away. Now that the hole has been drilled to size, we need to use the tap. And in case you're wondering what size to drill it out to, it's also written right on the tap. It's got the six by one, and it also says that it's the quarter inch size drill bit. Now, if you're in a difficult area, there are tap sockets that you can put right under your ratchets and you can use those to run them in. We have plenty of room out here, so I'm just gonna use a regular style tap wrench. A Little bit of that on our tap. Now I'm gonna clean off the tap a little bit with some compressed air. And I'm also gonna clean out the hole again. So now you can see we've got some fresh threads. We are drilled, we are tapped. Now we need to put the threads down in there with a special tool. And what it will do is it will catch right on that edge there. Now that we've got this threaded onto the end of here and this uh, hole is up like this, when they're down recessed like this, you can't use this tool, but when they're up like this, you can. So slip this down into here and thread it up through the end until it's just about to come out. This will greatly help in getting this whole thing started.
again coming back to the tap wrench. This really helps in getting it started. So once it's threaded down in there, you can turn it back the opposite way. And you have fresh threads. Now you see that little tab down in there? We should get rid of that. Hammer and a punch will make short work of it. Let's put it on the end, give it a little tap, and get the remains out with a little bit of compressed air. And there we are. All cleaned out, re-threaded. We can verify our repair. Yay, threads again. Well, there you have it, a quick tutorial on how to install thread inserts. Now, you could drill this out and put a larger fastener in, but sometimes that's not an option. And me, I wanted to put this back the way it was when it came from the factory. Anyhow, if you have automotive questions, airatthecarguide.com. I'll put a link in the description to make it easy for you. I'll also put a link in the description to this stuff and additional information for you. Uh, if you wish to connect with me socially, there's Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.